we've really got our work cut out for us today doing this one, the orange chalcedony. Because it is a surface feature, this is going to be a, a real experience for me because I do have some experience in cutting opal where the band of color is so small that you could quite easily ruin the color of an opal, take it right out on a grinder if you're not careful. So we have thicker parts of the chalcedony, like I said in the last, that I would try to cut this thing off. I have reconsidered. I think what I'm going to do is there's a part of it like this. And I'm going to take that off and try to cab that. What we're going to aim to do, I'm going to keep it together. I'm going to try to polish it on the host rock. So that way we can get the most objective view of what the material is going to look like polished without really risking the entire gemstone. Okay guys, so let's go hit the saw. It's going to be a micro surgery. And let's see how this turns out. I have no idea. Let's go. Well, everybody, we have been sent completely off course today. That is because after I cut the chalcedony, and we will get to the polished chalcedony, but let me tell you, as I was cutting this, and this is going to be an important training session for everybody out there who intends to cut rock or to cab, the host rock of whatever this is, as I cut it, I noticed a very suspect color in there little flecks of a very particular color red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everybody the favor of training our eyes on what that is. So the first thing we're going to look at is probably going to knock some of the old school rock hounds right out of their chairs because it is myrakite. Who remembers myrakite as a gemstone? Look at that thing. So you see that pinkish red? It's kind of a dull, sort of a red color. What that is, and give me a like if you do recognize this, because I certainly could use it. It is cinnabar. It is an ore of mercury. And now we're talking about a heavy metal. So the last thing you want to do is to cut this without any kind of breathing protection. And this is pretty benign. This could be handled by hand generally. It's never been studied, but it sure has been used as a gemstone. Okay, so take a good look at that color. Now we're gonna take this to the next level and we are going to train our eye on a pure version of this real thing. Here we go. This is that color in its in its most pure form, or almost its most pure form, cinnabar. I wouldn't handle this with my hand. I don't think I would want to really cut a gemstone out of it. This is more like a specimen. Once you've really tuned in and encoded this color, consider it one of nature's warnings. Just like you would see a red bug or a red berry or something. So this is an ore of mercury itself, Quicksilver. Let me get it wet too, so we can really enjoy the beauty of this. I photographed this for a, a shoot, one of my books. I haven't published the thing yet. I don't think so, unless it's in the first one. So here it is, wet. So there you go. If you see this in your rock that you've cut, handle it with more precaution. And when you are done cabbing like this myrakite, what you will want to do for safe handling is probably to take some Opticon and seal it in some of that good industry standard, lapidary standard resin, the Opticon type. And then you can safely wear a gemstone of this kind. But there we go, that's myrakite. It was such an unexpected find and it's something I, I'm very familiar with, so I could not let this opportunity go by without showing you. Now, back to the subject we were supposed to be talking about. As you can see, this thing is a mere crust, so it has the issue that you get like when cutting opal, where you could possibly rub the whole thing off. I think I mentioned that, but I'll just whatever. 
what I did here is I tried to find some spots to polish on the rough itself. Here's one. And down here, you can see that shine on that. It's really pretty. It's not a lot of it, but it did rub through a little bit there. So it really, either you need to have a big thick piece of contiguous material, or you will have to cut that part off and preserve it, although it is extremely thin. But right here, you can see we did rub a little bit of it off. The material does take a very, very beautiful polish. Finally, this was a neat little feature. It looked like a cab, so I treated it like one. And I just polished the little cab on top while keeping it incorporated with the main rock. Well, that was a lot of adventure for today. And then here's a piece we cut off and we sort of intended to cab, but we could only reach the surface. So once again, it's a swatch. I think we rubbed through a couple right here and right here. So it would have taken a lot more patience than I have had, I'll admit. You do get the idea. And I've seen cabs of this stuff. Of course, they're pretty small. And then we have the other side here. One more thing, I did find this. I found another cab of myrakite. We see the cinnabar color, and then in other areas, like the middle at about this level, is behind a little bit of the white. So you get the pink to the deep cinnabar color, like the slab that we looked at earlier, and now your eye is trained. Okay, everybody, what an unexpected adventure. This has been really great. Once again, I want to thank all of the new people in the room on the channel. I am overjoyed to have you. So as we go, we're just gonna keep cutting rock and discovering what the heck is inside. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you the next time.